In the transform menu, we find move UV in. And in the point editing toolbar, we find move UV in. And to illustrate this command, let's go ahead and bring in a surface. So we'll draw a rectangular plane. And we need to have more points. So we're going to rebuild. So we go to Surface Tools. Rebuild. And we're going to rebuild it. So that may be 20 and 20 points. Degree 3, and we'll click OK. Now, if we show the control points, we can now select any, any group of points. In my case, I'm going to select all the points, and then using the control key and dragging, I'm going to deselect the points that make the edges. So I'm going to select two rows of points all around the edges to deselect them. And now I only have those in the center selected. I'm also going to deselect maybe uh, some in the middle, maybe the center row. Two in the middle that way and the two rows that go through the middle this way. So I have four selections of points in the four parts of this model. And now uh, using UVN, I can click Move UVN. Let me bring it into the screen here. And now I can move those points either in the U direction in the V direction, or my favorite, which is normal to the surface. This is a very useful command because these points are moving normal to the direction of the surface. And the more I pull that lever, that slider, the more the points will, will get moved. And as you can see, I was very, I was able to create, you know, very quickly, you know, these recess areas on, on the surface by moving the points normal to the surface. If we go to the front view and we draw a simple profile, Maybe something like so. And then we select that profile and we do a revolve. Full circle. We now have something that looks like this. If we bring out our points, editing options here. Now we select the object and show control points. And now we're going to begin to do some editing here using UVN and the tools that we have for points for points. So I'm going to add some rows of points up here in this area. And now I can select these two and uh, Over here, I'm going to select 
all the way around. And now using normal, I can make those points grow. And I can start to create, you know, different options for this model. Now notice, if I choose now only move this over here, if I select this one, this ring, I can now move it in the V direction. And then normal, and I can start to, you know, create you know, very interesting forms on this model. So I can select these guys here, these two, and then make those grow. Select the ones in the middle. I can make those thinner, move them around, or up and down. I can add some more points at the bottom part. And do the same. Choose these two, for example, all the way around. So we'll go over here. Make sure we have these all the way around and make that And then we can move them either up or down. So as you can see, by uh, using the UVN options here, uh, you can move points in UV or N direction to edit and create uh, very interesting shapes based on your original design.